Do you ever have an ongoing fight with your thought life? Can anyone relate or am I alone in this? Maybe some of you, like me, can stand firm one moment, infused with spiritual power. My God is with me. He is my strength, my Savior, my salvation. My God is with me. He will never forsake me. He has called me and empowered me to do what He wants me to do. And your confidence tank in that moment is at max capacity in that moment. And then in the very next moment, your confidence tank has slammed to empty and you're overwhelmed with crippling fear and insecurity that paralyzes you and holds you back. We're launching a whole new series of sermons, and it's called Winning the Mindcraft War, Crushing Lies and Growing Truth. For a good portion of our series, we're going to be looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, which will guide us on our journey of faith, and we'll be able to see the realities we're talking about through the eyes and the mind of the Apostle Paul. Now, I don't know if you've ever taken the opportunity to study the life and times of the Apostle Paul, but I assure you, he is fascinating to behold. When you study his life, you cannot help but be amazed at how God miraculously changes the direction and the destiny of Paul's life. We cannot help but be wowed as we watch the former persecutor and executor of Christians actually become a Christian and how Jesus renews his mind with divine truth over time. Most of life's battles are won or lost in our mind. The good news is, not only is God's Word powerful enough to help you, God's Word is powerful enough to heal and restore your mind with divine, life-transforming truth. As you're thinking about your thoughts, do you lean more towards worry or peaceful? Do your thoughts naturally drift to the negative or to the positive. When you wake up, are you bright and bubbly or gross and grumbly? Do you wake up assuming the worst or believing and anticipating the best? It's the old, do you wake up and say, good Lord, it's morning. Oh, good Lord, it's morning. Or do you wake up with this, this positive faith? Again, even if things are not perfect, even if things are kind of crumbling around you, you still somehow manage to declare Christ in me is greater than the problems around me. With Christ in me, I am more than a conqueror. Things may be difficult and people may be stupid, but I'm thankful for a God who is working all things together for good in my life. Which would typify your thought life. Friends, I'm humbly inviting you to join me on a journey. A journey where together we will ask God to crush the lies and grow His truth in our hearts. So that together we can win the fight in our thoughts. I promise you, I promise you, when we begin to change our thinking, God begins to change our lives.